some files, like the recipe.txt file that we've been using as our standard text file, are essentially just containers for data. They can't act on their own. They have to have a program file act on them and manipulate them or extract their data or modify them. Other files are executable, and this means they can be run as programs, whether they're in binary format and can be run directly from the operating system, or whether they require an interpreter such as a Perl script or any other kind of shell script. These executable files can be accessed from the command line or indeed from within a graphical user interface such as the Windows operating system or X Windows on the Linux based operating systems. But we can also run programs from within our Perl scripts. This allows us to take advantage of the power of exterior programs and actually use our Perl script as a go-between to run the programs, to feed them information, and to take information back from them. For instance, here is an example of calling a program using the system function, which is Perl's way of running an executable file from the file system. We're running the CP program, which is simply going to copy all the text files into a different directory. Now the CP program is accessible from the file system path. If it wasn't accessible from the path, we'd have to specify an absolute address for it, unless it was in the same directory as our Perl script was running. You'll notice that we're not just calling the CP program on its own, we're also feeding it some command line parameters. We're telling it which kind of files we want to copy and where we want them to go. Perl doesn't interpret any of this. It simply tells the operating system, this is what I want you to do, and then the operating system will run the program and return the output from the program to Perl.